What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode two of GLG The Return. It's my welcome back series to myself and to you guys to thank you guys for sticking around and to welcome all you newcomers to my channel. As many of you heard either from Twitter announcements or from my last video, uh, I recently got invited to be in the GBA season four and I'm really excited about that. I am the coach of the San Francisco Giantes and I'm just so pumped to be in the league and to be, to be here with you guys. So in this series, my GLG The Return series, we're gonna be taking on OU Battle Spot with just weird random gym leader geo stuff that only I could possibly bring you or other people with really interesting ideas. So I'm gonna go over my team with you guys super quick. If you wanna know more about the sets, you can pause as I'm going through them or you can check out the first video where I talk about them a little bit more in depth. So we're bringing a, a team called These Chicks Don't Even Know The Name Of My Band. Uh, and they are uh, six Pokemon, all holding a choice band, including the Gentleman, my Lander Asterion, uh, Dancing Queen, my Scizor, Sir Francis, my Dragonite, McSmash, the Conkelder, Fufu, the Azumarill, and Ghost Dad, the Shiny Victini. And you know what I'm actually going to do? I was thinking about this earlier. I might switch out and put defog on this guy nope not doing it here we go looking for a battle right now so i tried recording earlier and fought a guy who literally just timed out the clock on the very first turn so i had to cancel that recording but that's why my um rating's a little bit higher than when you guys saw me last so this guy has got probably a mega pidgeot and a regular slow bro but he could be bluffing that slow bro as a mega and just using a normal Pidgeot, but that's unlikely. He's got an Excadrill, he's got a Tyranitar, a Thunderous, and a Gudra. Thunderous Eye and a Gudra. So, um, elements of this, he's definitely gonna be looking to take advantage of Sand Rush um, here with that little core. That's a pretty solid start. I have seen leads of Pidgeot, I saw one in the last match, and uh, we could also have Volt, potential Volt there, Volt Turner as a lead there. I think my ideal lead in this circumstance is probably Landorus. He bluffs that he is a traditional lead. Thank you, Avast. I don't really care about that right now. He bluffs as a traditional lead, a defensive lead. It's a pretty obvious lead, and a lot of these Pokemon, namely these three, either or four, regularly carry or can bluff that they carry ice type attacks so it might be a risky endeavor for me to lead with that but that said it seems pretty likely these three pokemon are very likely potential leads so i think my best way to deal with those guys this guy's got flying which i'm worried about otherwise can kelder would be a good start scissor would probably do fine actually um, because I can superpower these two, and I can just do something different on the other one. So let's actually lead with Scizor here. It's an interesting lead, because Landorus is the much more obvious lead, and Landorus actually does handle... I don't know why the timer's still counting down. He actually ends up leading with Slowbro. I don't want to get burned here, so let's just U-turn out, because it's likely he'll go for Scald, he could pack the flamethrower or the fire blast. Slower does learn that. Um, we're gonna see right out the gate whether or not he's a mega slow bro. I actually would be in a lot of trouble if he is, because uh, <laughs> I'm an all choice band team and he is an absolute wall of a Pokemon. So hopefully he's not that i'm gonna i hope he's not we're seeing a lot of lag. i've been seeing a ton of lag on showdown recently and i'm not really a fan of it i really just want to click my moves and have them happen in real time irlt so that almost kills him which works for me i don't really want to switch it on ghost dad predicting the fire type move because even i just really don't want to get burned and as many of you know, I could, like, if I had running, if I was running Guts Mix Smash, that would have been a good switch in, but I'm not doing that. I'm not running Guts Mix Smash. Um, 
God, but then I could just go for the knockoff next turn. I might just have to chance. Scald would be a good move for him to go for here because it would hit neutral on Dancing Queen and uh, the chance to burn him. But Ghost Dad could come in and finish him off with a U-turn or go for a Bolt Strike next turn. Not worry about the burn, and honestly, I think I can take a Scald from a Slowbro. And if it's a Fire-type move, it'll do even less. I just, I don't want to risk the Scald burn right now, so I am going to go into, um... I am going to go into Victini. He's pointing out that I'm all physical attackers here, so he is going to go for the Scald and <laughs> gets a crit and does a frick ton of damage here. So, um... Hmm. He could predict a Bolt Strike and go into Excadrill here. I mean, there's no point for me to go for Bolt Strike. There's no point at all. I could go for a V-Create, which I'm pretty sure would still kill Slowbro, but I think the better option here is for me to just maintain momentum and go for the U-Turn. Victini's still going to be able to outspeed a lot of things, so I'm still going to be able to pack that outspeed power with the V-Create and get at least one kill. He's going to actually switch. He is going to switch into Tyranitar, and uh, I'm going to get the super effective U-Turn off, and then I'm going to switch right back into Dancing Queen here. <laughs> If he wants to just keep getting you turned to death and doing absolutely nothing, that's, I mean, technically he's in the lead right now, I think, with Ghost Dad almost dead. Uh, Scizor's gonna come in. I could go for a superpower here, but if he's, Slowbro's gonna be able to take it. 33, he's gonna switch back in with 63% health. I could go for a bullet punch here, and that would do a hefty amount of damage. Um, but I'm really a big fan of this momentum that I am keeping, and U-Turn's gonna kill that Tyranitar if he stays in. I should have gone for the Pursuit. No, I shouldn't have, because that wouldn't have done much at all. I'm gonna go for the U-Turn here. That's gonna kill the Tyranitar, and give him an option for a free switch here. And I really like the option to be able to U-Turn again, so I think the Gentleman's a good option here, and then we can also... From that, we can look to see if he, if I bring in the gentleman and he brings in here, he's going for Hidden Power Ice. If he brings in Slow Bro, he's got Ice Beam, he's probably going for that, but I would kill him with a U-Turn. So, if he has Pidgeot there, that's probably a Mega Pidgeot, and again, probably a Hidden Power Ice, and I can respond accordingly. So let's bring in the gentleman. It's claiming that I'm running out of time here, but, uh, I mean, I'm making, I'm taking a little bit of time for some of my moves, but not that long. We've got Intimidate on my on my gentleman, obviously. Um, dude, this sandstorm is raging, though. We're dar rooting this right now. So he sees the gentleman. Uh, I'm gonna take a lot of knowledge from this when he finally decides to show me who he switches in here. I think an earthquake would take out Gudra if he opts to bring in the Gudra to go for the ice beam. Ice beam is a relatively anticipated move here I, I do think whoever he's got to have ice type coverage he's got four pokemon here that very frequently carry ice type slow bro being one of them so i'm just going to u-turn on this guy there's no way i'm staying in against the slow bro he's so clearly packing he could have done this intentionally just to get additional if he's smart he sees that this slow bro is one of his win conditions right now because if he I just, I'm, no, actually he doesn't because I have so many U-Turners. This Slowbro is actually not going to be that much of a problem. So he's going to take a massive amount of damage from that U-Turn. And, uh, I might just go into Foo Foo here. That did 54% of his health. It's possible he's going for another Scald. So let's just go into Foo Foo, he'll eat it up. It's possible he'll get the burn off and that would be super unfortunate. A, boon to zoom, a burn to Zoomerill is no good. He does go for the Scald and he does not get the burn. So I am set. He's probably gonna switch out here, giving me a free knockoff on whoever comes in. Um, I could just opt to go for the Waterfall here as it would actually kill the Slowbro and do massive damage to anyone who comes in except the Gudra. But the Gudra wouldn't like a play rough. The only person who would be okay with the play rough actually is Excadrill. 
and something tells me I just really don't anticipate he's going for that. So play rough is actually probably my best move here. So let's do that. Let's go for a play rough. I should have gone for the knockoff. I immediately regret this, but I can't switch off because as you see, the timer just keeps going even after I select my move. He forfeited. No, never mind. Someone left. So he does opt to go into Excadrill, so it's unfortunate that I went for the play rough there. No, I did win. I did win. He quit. <laughs> he quit the game. Okay. Um, not sure why he forfeited that. Probably just because he was getting outplayed. He was very U-turn weak, I found there. Uh, he didn't really have any... because. His both both of his primary defensive Pokemon, i.e. Slowbro and Tyranitar, Dark and Psychic types, they were both weak to U-turn. And so they were getting super effectively pounded by it, and no one else wants to handle the massive amount of physical attackers that this team is packing. So that's why it's a fun team, because it it's just so much physical attack. And he was trying to use his defensive core as a crux so that he could weaken Pokemon and bring in his fast his fast sweepers. These guys are fast sweepers, but they're not power hungry sweepers. They're not gonna be one shotting people unless it's a really unfortunate switch in that I make or a misprediction or something like that. So we're gonna um this was not that long. We're gonna get one more battle, I think. Yeah, let's get one more battle. So we're searching. I want to click this, but I don't need to. <laughs> what have we here? Uh, it's a rain team, pretty obviously. We've got um, a Mega Gardevoir. Just kidding. Huh? So Mega Swampert and Kingdra both to swift swim and take advantage of the rain that Politoed is going to set up. Uh, taking away the fire weakness of Ferrothorn and Zapdos is here for the 100% accuracy thunders. Uh, I'm thinking that Gardevoir is just for coverage. It's probably either a defensive with Wish or a Scarfed. He's got a very fast team. And I'm not sure I have anything that's just going to outright kill that Politoed except maybe Ghost Dad. So, uh, unfortunately, it's really baiting the Bolt Strike here. If I opt to lead with Ghost Dad, and then he gets this, the rain set up and can immediately switch into Swampert and get a free switch off. So this is going to be a problem, actually. What I could do is... He does have a Fairy, so unfortunately I can't just immediately lead with Sir Francis and start pounding away with Outrages. I could lead with Dancing Queen. You know what, I should lead with Ghost Dad. And if he predicts the lightning type move and switches out, then I'll go straight at yeah. So he does lead with flat. Uh, I'm gonna go straight away for the U-turn here because I don't think he's staying in. I think he's scared of the bolt strike. And if he's not, this is gonna hit him hard enough that I could bring in someone in revenge kill him next. Uh, next turn. He stays in. I'm assuming he's just going to go for a water type attack, probably a Scald or something. So let's bring in Fufu. -Fu. Man, I just, I didn't predict he was going to stay in like that. That was a crit U-turn, so actually this guy's probably physically defensive. He took that really well. He's going to go for the Scald. I'm hoping no burn. It looks like no burn. No point in me going for a knockoff here. Because if he switches into Swampert, he'll eat that up and it won't do it won't knock off his item, obviously. Uh, Play Rough is gonna hit relatively hard. The Ferrothorn is gonna be happy for it, though. And we'll probably eat that up. You know what? He's probably gonna switch into Ferrothorn. I'm going for the knockoff here. It's no big deal if it hits flat. It's pretty useful if it hits the Ferrothorn. I definitely need to get rid of that. He's gonna go for the toxic outright as I go for the knockoff and get rid of the damp rock. As he gets that Toxic out, you know what, and I'll probably kill him, if that did 49%, I'll kill him with another knockoff. So he can opt to uh, get another attack here if he wants to, or he can switch out and try and preserve the rain. He's going to go into Ferrothorn. No, he's not. He's going into Nostalgia. As I... <laughs> oh my god. 67% and I take 
without that, uh, so here's the problem though, he's gonna go for a roost here, cause he's gonna outspeed me. So if he's opting to go for the roost, who do I want to take advantage of this? Weirdly enough, the gentleman, the gentleman's good cause I can just pound, I can hit him with a stone edge. The problem with this is he definitely has some defensive crutches that are going to be a problem. Ferrothorn mainly. Ferrothorn's definitely going to have to be a whittle down style Pokemon here. I could switch into Sir Francis and just go for Waterfall, because in the rain it's going to do a lot of damage to anyone except Ferrothorn. And I have Fire Punch for Ferrothorn, but I mean really it would just be a scouting turn if I, if I were to do that. I could go into Ghost Dad on this predicted and then I could go straight away for the V create, or I could go for I could go for uh, a Zen head. But I'm forgetting how fast. I'm not forgetting. I know that nostalgia is very, very fast, but I forget exactly how fast. So let's go to Smogon real quick, guys, and uh, and do a quick check. I'm sure everyone's yelling at the screen because they know exactly how fast. I'm out of practice, guys. I think he's 110 though. Isn't he? Is he 110? He's 100, so he's actually the same speed as Victini, but he's defensive, so Victini will outspeed, and I could just go straight away for, you know, I'm switching into Ghost Dad, he's going for Roost here, he knows he outspeeds me, he knows I'm locked into Choice Banded, uh, he knows I'm locked into, he's going for the Roost, no, he goes for the Thunder, and he gets the, he gets the Paralysis, I was not anticipating that. Well, now that my speed doesn't matter, I might as well just shoot. I was really considering the switch into Landorus, too. I even... Oh, man, I totally said it. Well, Ghost Dad is essentially useless now. Unfortunately, he's... Man, he was my best answer for Ferrothorn. That's really unfortunate. Well, not much to do about this now. Uh, he's, you know, he's going to go for it again, so I might as well just go into the Gentleman. I'm going to go into the Gentleman. Ooh, he switches into Swampert. Perfect timing for me in order to get off that, um, that Intimidate there. So let's see. Let's think this through. Earthquake is my strongest attack, obviously. Uh, the switch into Zapdos is possible. <laughs> He just ran a, uh, a weakness test on Lander's Therian. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose or as a joke or something. But I'm going to outspeed him this turn. Because he's not got Rain Dance yet. So I could just go for the U-turn and get out of here. Because I really don't think I'm going to one-shot a, a Mega Swampert. Let's go for U-turn. Let's go for U-turn and uh, get out of here before... This Mega Swampert runs train on my face. He is going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to U-turn out. He's going for a water type attack. And the best way to absorb that is definitely with Fufu. Unfortunately, being toxic and uh, going to get out sped next turn is actually going to be a really big problem. So I might have to sacrifice someone here. So Francis can definitely take it, but I can't outspeed next turn, and there's not really anything I can do to kill him. And he's gonna pack Ice Punch and outspeed me. So it's mm, it's gonna be, and I really am predicting that this Gardevoir packs Wish at this point, because this Swampert is definitely gonna be the biggest issue for this team. So I might as well just sacrifice Ghost Dad here. And then I can come in next turn and not outspeed with anything. Oh man, I'm actually in trouble here. I'm gonna come in with Sir Francis and go for the Outrage, I think, after I die with Ghost Dad. Because there's, I really don't see what I can do here, other than that. I'm in a whole, hev whole hefty amount of trouble here, because I'm not gonna do it. I might just switch into... I gotta sacrifice Ghost Dad here. He's definitely going... If he's going for Ice Punch, that would be interesting. To just try and take out the gentleman. I mean, it would make more sense for him to go for the waterfall here, but I think that's what he's doing. Waterfall, and he does go for the ice punch. He goes for the ice punch. 
Why? It's the rain, dude. You've got stab and the rain, and I'm weak to it. Ice is just four times weak. Oh my goodness. So now he's going to go for water type attack again. I can just stall out the rain at this point because... My goodness, why would he do that? Uh, no, you know what? He could go for... He could go for Earthquake here. What? But he's not going to. He's going to go for the water type attack. But I'm running a big risk by trying to play around this. Ghost Dad has... He's seen better days. He's a fire type Pokemon. It, it, there's no one here that I can really do much with Ghost Dad, so I might as well just sacrifice him, but I think I can... I'm gonna play around this. I think he's going for Waterfall here. I'm gonna switch in to... Why is the timer still going? I selected my move. He's gonna go for... No, he does go for Earthquake. That was unfortunate. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet here just to get some damage off before I go down. The timer, I hate that the timer's still going. I selected my move already. And it tells me I have 20 seconds left. It said I had 40, then it tells me immediately that I have 20. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm gonna go for uh, Aqua Jet here. It should do a decent amount of damage to this swamp. He's actually gonna switch. And I'm gonna kill myself on the Iron Barbs and the Toxic. So that was a really good switch on his part. The rain has now stopped. I can bring in Ghost Dad, and you know who's not going to like a V-Create is anybody in this entire game. Politoed's probably going to come in and get himself killed. Uh, this is my only chance to do anything at all with Victini right now. Um, so I'm just going to immediately click V-Create. He's definitely going to switch out, probably into Politoed, but Politoed is going to die in the process. And then I'm just going to let him... Uh, oh my god, he stayed in. Why? Why would you do that? I, oh my god! That is literally the only thing that I was like, Oh man, but I really want to hold Ghost Dad for... And you just let it die. There was no reason to do that. Wow. Wow. I have no idea why he did that. He could have switched into Politoed. Eaten that up. Well, I mean, the Politoed might have died. But then, then you just lost Politoed. I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, I'm definitely getting outsped here. I'm going to sacrifice Ghost Dad. And, uh, just pound out my last. It, it wouldn't, it, it might not even kill at this point with the rain up and 19. No, it will. But I'm going to get outsped. There's no way a minus one speed paralyzed Victini <laughs> is going to outspeed a Politoed. This Politoed is, uh, he's going to go for the Scald and take me out. That's fine. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go for Dancing Queen here and I'm going to go for the U-turn. I will outspeed him, right? I just got to make sure. Looks like uh, GBA chat's blowing up right now. He could be really fast, actually, and I'm bulky. Uh, I did not invest in speed at all. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should just go into McSmash, who's even slower. Man, what am I doing? The Gentleman and go for a U-turn and then I can bring in McSmash on the Swampert and eat up an attack and go for a Drain Punch. I think that's probably my best move, so let's do that. And my timer, look at this, it's skipping from 70 seconds down to 40 immediately, and then the timer just keeps going, even after I've selected my move, at 10 seconds now, this is ridiculous. Um, you know what, I shouldn't have done this, I should have gone into, uh, yep, I should have gone into Scizor so that I could, if there's the switch into Swampert, I could have gotten the Intimidate off on the Swampert, that would have been such a better move. Shoot, um, okay. Well, if he switches into Swampert now, I might be able to do something where I bait out an Earthquake. No, he's going to switch into... Okay. So we've got a Rain... He's still got Gardevoir there. Let's go into... Let's go into... Let's go into Dancing Queen here. Because I will resist his... Yeah, I don't have a Zoom Reel anymore to resist Dragon uh, any other way than with this. I'm going to go for another U-turn here. I don't want to give him the opportunity to set up a focus energy, which is the most concerning thing I have with uh, with these particular... Why are you doing this? 
He's popping these weakness measurements like on the screen where I can see them right in front of my face. He's gonna go for a water type attack, but he's not gonna be able to kill me. I'm bulky with this scissor. He could stay in, but if he does, he's dead because a much more powerful U-turn is about to hit him in the face right now and will literally kill him. He has the option to get off one attack here, but I'm bulky, so he's not gonna kill me. He doesn't pack a fire type move, and if he does, it's reduced in power because of the rain. He's got to make a switch here. I'm wondering who he's going to switch into. The Zapdos is at 33 and is not going to appreciate. He's doing all kinds of stats on Sizzler. We see him calcing in the screen over here. Really interesting. Uh, he goes to the Hydro Pump and kills me. Really interesting. I was not anticipating that at all. That sucks. That's a life orb, okay, um... I honestly did not see that coming. Let's bring in... Shoot. I could have calced that, but I didn't want to. I'm gonna go for extreme speed here. Um, I'm not sure, he's... Maybe he'll switch into Guard of War? If Zapdos switches in, he's dead. If Kingdra stays in, he's dead. If Politoed comes in, he's dead. And I think two of them will probably kill Gardevoir. Two of them might kill Swampert. This might be the game if he switches. Well, not the game. I I'm getting a kill from this from this play, no matter what. Yeah, I I'm feeling pretty strongly that I'm going to get a kill from this. Yeah, so he goes down. I'm not sure who he can bring in, but I'm at full health. If he brings... Gardevoir is probably his best switch at the moment. Um... And I'm curious how much I'll do to a Gardevoir. He's gonna bring in Swampert, actually. Let's do, I can't, I don't have much time to calc, do I? 70 seconds, which is actually 40 seconds. Uh, Dragonite, Choice Banded Dragonite versus Mega Swampert. Extreme Speed is gonna do 43. Ice Punch uh, is not gonna kill me at full health, so let's just keep popping off Extreme Speeds. Wait, how is Ice Punch not going to kill me? Alright, but it didn't. But it didn't. So let's uh, let's finish him off then, because Extreme Speed did 40%. This could be the game, actually. Uh, it looks like he can't handle... 57.6, <laughs> that's even less than I thought it was going to do. That's less than the anticipated calc suggested, so he might not be fully invested in attack. Or maybe he's not adamant. Maybe he's jolly. Yeah, so I'll finish off Swampert here. Politoed's now useless. Zapdos is useless. Gardevoir is his next big switch here. Um, and Gardevoir is actually a problem. Gardevoir could be a big problem here. Um, it might be worth it for me to sacrifice something, because extreme speed... <sighs> yeah. It might be worth it to sacrifice someone. McSmash could maybe handle, but I don't really want to run him, run the risk of losing him in, in a dumb way. The Gentleman... You know, let's see what the gentleman can do here. Let's switch him in. I could play mind games with the gentleman, but I really just think getting some prior damage on internet is gonna be is gonna be more important. Uh, he's gonna go for a thunderbolt. <laughs> oh wow, the plays. Let's go for a U-turn here. Oh man, I hope he was specs or scarfed, and now he has to switch. That would be so great. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe that. He's probably like, what? Why would you predict the Thunderbolt? Why would he go for Thunderbolt? It's neutral against him and resi and completely immune by the gentleman. Neutral against someone else. He could have gone for... He doesn't have fairy type moves? Like, why don't you have Moon Blast? So he is going to switch. He's going to set up the rain again. I'm going to get the U-turn off. The gentleman's going to live to see another day. I'm going to bring in McSmash because I want to get some prior damage on 
on Gardevoir if I have the opportunity to do so. Um, I'm going to fire off an Ice Punch, I think is the best move for me here. I only have 10 seconds. This is ridiculous how fast this clock is going. Yeah, I just got to go for Ice Punch regardless of who he brings in, I think. Because if he brings in Gardevoir, okay, if he brings in Gardevoir, I'm going for knockoff. He does bring in Gardevoir, ugh, he's probably going to kill me here. But you know what? I need to get, if I needed to get prior damage, then I shouldn't have, I might have just lost the game, actually. No, because I still have, I still have a full health uh, gentleman sitting in the wing. I'm okay. I'm okay with how things are right now. He's not gonna go for Thunderbolt again. I'm wondering if he's packing Bolt Beam, Psy Shock. What? I just don't understand why he wouldn't have gone for Moonblast. Now he goes for Moonblast and now he takes me out. So, okay, that was a better play on his part. And now is time for me to go into, yeah. Now it's time for me to go into my Banded Lando. And uh, now that I'm here, Go for a U-turn. I'm, I am a little worried that I played this badly. This Gardevoir is my biggest issue here. Um, he outspeeds me and goes for Moonblast, so that's game. That is now game because because he outspeed me and failed to one shot me, and I get him that low. I am now confident that I can kill both of the remaining Pokemon by just extreme speeding. So, I don't want to say GG yet because crazier shit has happened, but I'm pretty sure at this point I've I've won with the Choice Band of Extreme Speed. Oh my god, this is a really good game, actually. Luigio25 stepping in and bringing me a good match. I had to, I really had to play around that a lot. So he is going to opt to switch into Nostalgia. Not sure why. Not sure why. There's, yeah, there's nothing you can do here. This, yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that play was. They didn't do anything other than not give his Zapdos a turn, which he otherwise would have had. The thing is, though, I mean, there's a shot that this exchange speed doesn't kill. I don't know this guy. No, you know what? For how much damage that U-turn did. And the U-turn's weaker than this move. So this should be game, and that looks like we net a clean 2-0... Or, yeah, 2 0 victory on this battle and two victories for today. So that was really exciting. This last battle, though, got my uh, got my heart racing a little bit there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to have a couple more videos in this series. I'm really enjoying GLG The Return and uh, these chicks don't even know the name of my band. There's the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and definitely be sure to be checking out my videos in the upcoming months as the GBA gets kicked off. It's going to be starting, I believe, May 1st. We're going to be having the draft coming up. I'll be talking about my draft picks uh, in a video at some point. And there's going to be a Meet the Coach going up on the GBA official site. I'm going to leave links for that in the description down below. If you guys don't know about the GBA, you should go check it out. It's got some really big Poketubers and some really great guys that are going to be in there. It's a really fun draft Pokemon League. I'm sure most of you know about it. If you're here right now, you got to know about it. But as always, my name's Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.